Candace Campos joining mm-hmm. us now. You're tracking the tropics. Yeah, we are talking about this area. It still does have a name. Still not even very tropical just yet, but it could be bringing us some significant impacts. Now, we're not talking about a strong hurricane, but possibly a strong tropical or even subtropical storm. So something we are going to want, want to watch very closely in the upcoming days. Nothing tropical, though, for today. Just a couple of those fast-moving showers. We do have a nice breeze in place along the coast right now. Our launch credit union camera, we're at 78 degrees, looking most see sunny. We are watching a couple of the scattered showers clipping the coastline, but look at your breeze. Right now from the east at about 10 miles per hour. They will clock up between 15 to 20 throughout the day, but by Monday, we're talking wind gusts between 30 to 35, and that's all thanks to, again, that area of low pressure right now in the Caribbean that will move into the Atlantic and possibly right towards east central Florida by Wednesday and Thursday. So here are your weather headlines. I know if you're waking up and it's 7.20 in the morning, maybe getting ready for morning services, you got some plans for your Sunday a few spotty showers in the forecast, kind of like yesterday. A little more rain possibly up to about a 30% chance. Yesterday was about 20. The one thing I don't want you to head out to go do is go on the beach or go in the boat because uh, hazards are going to be uh, already are in place today and will continue to worsen throughout the next few days. We have high surf advisories, uh, high risk of rip currents, small craft advisories, pretty much every advisory you can have, we've got them right now along our coastline. And that's all thanks to, again, that area of low pressure that could be bringing us more squally weather. We're talking kind of those tropical wind gusts, tropical downpours in the forecast starting Wednesday and into Thursday. So what is the area? This is it right here, uh, making its way now into the Atlantic. The latest update now bringing it just north of Puerto Rico has a 90% chance of development in the next five. Pretty much we'll get a name as early as tomorrow. So what can we expect? First off, the coast will see the worst of it, as, of course, when you start talking about a possible landfalling system, we talk about beach erosion, coastal flooding, especially at high tides. Those breaking waves, this is for today. We could see those numbers go up even higher as that system approaches the coast, along with small craft advisory, rough seas, near shore waters, possibly up to 9 to 10 foot uh, seas there um, by Tuesday and Wednesday. Further inland for areas basically west of 95, heavy rain will start to be uh, Uh, More of an issue as we head more into your Tuesday night. Wednesday morning, it's going to be more of a Wednesday, Thursday play. Gusty winds, those are going to be the two highest uh, concerns for us across central Florida. And although I know you might say it's a tropical storm, no big deal, we still have to remember there's still a lot of communities that are still dealing with flooding issues post-Hurricane Ian. Our beaches have been battered from Hurricane Ian as well. Beach erosion is still a big issue there. You can see here live radar seeing the scattered showers continue to make their way in. Again, rain coverage for today, about 30%. You can see clouds of rain forecast. A couple hit or miss showers will dry out throughout the overnight. Kind of same story for your Monday. You'll notice the wind. That will uptick pretty quickly come Monday and Tuesday with the rain ushering in come Wednesday and Thursday. Now let's check on that hour by hour forecast for today. 87 will be your high. Your coverage about 20 to 30 percent. Overnight lows tonight down to about 70 degrees. A few coastal showers still can't be ruled out. And as we get results for the full seven day forecast, temperatures will be staying in the low 80s. Decent chance of rain Wednesday and Thursday. Again, all eyes are on the tropics. Could this be our next name storm? Could be Nicole. Could be Owen. We'll have to wait and see. We've got another area developing out there as well that complicates matters. But do expect, again, significant impacts possibly by Wednesday and Thursday. Jerry.